Welcome to yet another Excel video. This video is about linking interactive pivot charts and slicers to a PowerPoint slide and refreshing these after adding new data. In the Excel sheet on your screens, you can see a pivot table, a pivot chart created from this pivot table and a slicer on the segment column. The segment slicer upon selection would intuitively filter both the pivot chart and the pivot table. The data sheet contains the original table that has been used to create the pivot table and the pivot chart. The new tab contains new data which will be added to the data sheet in order to demonstrate refreshing of both the pivot table and pivot chart in Excel as well as in the PowerPoint slide. So let's open a PowerPoint slide. On your screens is the title slide of a PowerPoint presentation. Let's right click on the slide outline and change the layout to a blank layout. We are going to link the pivot chart and slicer to this PowerPoint slide. For that, select all the cells that encompass both the pivot chart and the slicer. Copy the cells by pressing Ctrl C. Go back to the new PowerPoint slide. Click on the Home tab and expand the paste option in the clipboard group. You can see several options that are built in. Click on paste special. Select the paste a link radio button. Select Microsoft Excel worksheet object. Click on OK. Both the pivot chart and slicer have been linked to the PowerPoint slide. Let's resize this. In order to make this interactive, select the visuals. Go to the animations tab. You can add an animation by expanding this button or using this button. When you expand this button, you can see the last action, OLE action verbs. We can select that. Or you can expand add animation button, select OLE action verbs. OLE is an acronym for object linking and embedding. Click on this, select edit, click on OK. So we've created an animation. To trigger the animation, expand the trigger button in the advanced animation group, expand on click and select object 3. Now if we double click on the visuals, you are automatically taken to the Excel sheet. Let's open the slideshow mode by clicking on this button or pressing the F5 key. Click on consumer. You get an alert. Microsoft has identified a potential security concern. If we can trust the source, we can click on Enable. Again, we come to this Excel sheet from where we can select the segment that we want. It would be a good idea to resize the Excel sheet in such a way that we can display both the selection in the Excel sheet and the slideshow concurrently. For that, let's resize the Excel sheet to fit into the corner of the slideshow screen so that we can make selections in the slicer and demonstrate the effect on the slideshow. Click on consumer, both the slicer as well as the pivot chart change. Select corporate and you can see the changes. Select home office and you can see the changes. Let's clear filter by clicking on this button. So this is an easy way to demonstrate how the slicer selections interact with the pivot chart and slicer in the PowerPoint slide in the slideshow mode. In order to demonstrate the refreshing of these visuals while adding new data to the pivot chart and pivot table, let's come out of the slideshow mode, go back to the Excel sheet. Let's divide the screen into two halves by clicking on the resize button and selecting this layout. Now we can see both the Excel sheet and the PowerPoint side by side. Increase the zoom in the PowerPoint slide. Let's go to the New tab, select the entire new data, press Ctrl C. Go to the data sheet containing original data, select an empty cell, press Ctrl V. Let's go to the pivot table sheet. We can refresh the pivot table by right clicking and clicking on the refresh button or we can refresh the pivot chart. For that, select the pivot chart, click on pivot chart analyze, click on refresh or you can click on refresh all. Before refreshing, let's look at the value in the longest sales bar. So the longest sales bar has a data label of 21,274, which is identical in the Excel sheet as well as in the PowerPoint slide. Now let's see what happens when we refresh the pivot chart. 
So click on pivot chart analyze, expand refresh, click on refresh all. You can see that the pivot chart in both the Excel sheet as well as in the PowerPoint slide have been refreshed simultaneously. If we scroll to the left and look at the pivot table, we can see that the pivot table has also been refreshed. Now let's make some selections in the segment slicer. You can see the intuitive filters both in the Excel sheet as well as in the PowerPoint slide. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content, including 47 exclusive videos on Power BI PL300 certification. Please subscribe to our channel and while subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall receive notifications as soon as we upload new videos in our channel. We are very grateful to our subscribers and viewers for their continued support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.